Hello everyone. Starting off with the skull anatomy, today we'll be discussing norma verticalis. This is the vertical or the uppermost aspect of the skull. The word norma means an aspect of something, basically skull we are talking about. Which aspect we are discussing? Vertical aspect. So norma verticalis. So let's begin. Now, the, uh, from the norma verticalis, the skull is oval in shape, which is wider posteriorly than anteriorly. The bone seen in the norma verticalis is the upper part of the frontal bone anteriorly, two parietal bones, and the upper part of the occipital bone posteriorly. Now, if we talk about the sutures which are seen in the norma verticalis, then the first up is the coronal suture, which is present between the frontal and the two parietal bone. This crosses the cranial vault from side to side and runs downwards and forwards. After that comes the sagittal suture. The sagittal suture, it is placed in the median plane between the two parietal bones. After that is the lambdoid suture, which is posteriorly present between the two parietal and the occipital bone. Then parietal tuber or the eminence is seen in the verticalis, which is the area of maximum convexity of the parietal bone. And this is the most common site for skull fracture. After that, two parietal foramens are seen on each of the on each of the parietal bone. They are present just adjacent to the sagittal suture. Emissary vein passes through the parietal foramen, and this is the valveless vein which connects the extracranial vein to the intracranial veins. A point on the sagittal suture just medial to the parietal foramen considered as a representative of the third eye is obelion. The highest point on the sagittal suture is known as vertex. Now what happens is in uh, the fetal skull there is a point, there is a site on, there is a site in the uh, junction of the sagittal and the coronal suture, which is diamond shaped. It is known as the anterior fontanelle. And the triangular shaped site present in the junction of sagittal and lambdoid suture is known as the posterior fontanelle. The posterior fontanelle closes at birth to two to three months of age. It is triangular in shape, whereas the anterior fontanelle being diamond in shape, it is, it closes at 16, at 18 to 24 months of age and it is required for the growth of the bone. Now this point after the closure of the uh, posterior fontanelle, this point becomes lambda. The point after the closure of the anterior fontanelle is known as bregma, which is the meeting point between the two, between the coronal and the sagittal suture. Meeting point between the lambdoid and the sagittal suture, lambda. Meeting point between coronal and sagittal suture, bregma. Point on the sagittal suture just medial to the parietal foramen, obelion. Highest point on the sagittal suture, vertex. Now, the temporal lines are also seen in this view. What happens is 
they begin at the zygomatic process of the frontal bone they arch backwards and upwards and cross the frontal bone the coronal suture and the parietal bone okay over the parietal bone there are two lines which is the superior temporal line and the inferior temporal line they fuse together anteriorly to form a single line but posteriorly they are two in posteriorly the superior line fades out at the posterior part of the parietal bone whereas the inferior temporal line continues downwards and forwards towards the zygomatic arch so this is it about the norma verticalis now do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel do hit the bell icon if you don't want to miss the latest updates stay tuned keep visiting thank you